Hi, this is David, and um, this video <laughs> is on <clears throat> burning your underwear. <laughs> it's not what you think. No, it's not what you think. Um, <clears throat> throughout life, I think all of us have <laughs> experienced that we should burn our underwear <laughs> for different reasons. I'm not going to go into those reasons. I'm going to let you use your own experience and own imagination. Now, again, this is this is cult stuff. This is definitely cult stuff. And um, I wanted to share with you that you know that Mormons are uh, required, those who have gone to their temple, uh, to wear special uh, magic underwear. Now, when the magic underwear doesn't save you spiritually or physically, then the Mormons will say, with the plausible defense, um, that uh, we never said it was magic. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> All the time, they pass magic stories under the table to each other that this person was burned. I mean, even uh, J. Uh, Willard Marriott, when he was uh, being interviewed, and you can look that up on the, the internet. He said that he was uh, in a fire on a boat. <laughs> and that he was burned uh, everywhere except where his garments were. So don't tell me that you don't think they're magic and their protection. I know they are. Uh, thought of it that way. Thought of that way. Okay, so here, <laughs> here comes the burning of your underwear. Now... <laughs> Most of us, and I could be wrong, I'm not an underwear expert. I had a little boy, uh, my my Steve, or my uh, John. He didn't wear underwear till he was seven years old. I don't know why. I don't know why. He just had a, a phobia for underwear. But anyway, as a sidelight, here's, here's what Mormons are required to do. They're required to buy, I think it's around 10 or $12 now for a pair of garments. And um, the garments have markings on them. They have the, the um, markings of uh, the Masonic, <laughs> the Masonic religion or, or group or cult, whatever you want to call them. But it has a compass and a square uh, and uh, a marking on the tummy by the belly button and uh, one on the knee and the one on the knee as I remember is there to remind you that uh, eventually every uh, knee will bow and uh, every tongue will confess uh, that Jesus is the Christ <laughs> I don't think the Muslims are gonna do that but <laughs> who am I I don't know <laughs> oh the one on the stomach oh my gosh I think it's on the navel for a health uh, in the uh, the body and uh, needs spiritual food and um, regular food and uh, then the compass reminds you what direction you should be going and the square as I remember uh, has to do with uh, honesty and truthfulness well these markings are on every every uh, garment male and female now back in the old days this is so old that none of you will remember this I'm, I'm so damn old I my first pairs of garments tied up the front they had little ties and they came down to here and they came down to almost um, my ankles and uh, it was all open at the front except you had little ties and they were one piece well now they're two piece and you can get them in different um, uh, materials and cloth and whatever well well here's the Mormon secret when your garments have worn out you are not allowed to use them <laughs> for rags. <laughs> now garments, sometimes the material in garments are like diapers and they're some of the best uh, car washing cloth I've ever had for drying a car off. Well here's the trick now, the, the Mormon church, you're not going to see this written. You're not going to see this written anywhere. I have never seen it written. When your garments wear out and you are going to want to use them for rags, uh, or buy some new ones, um, you must cut out with a pair of scissors. You have to cut out the markings on the garment and then you have to put them like, <laughs> I don't know where you put them, but you gotta burn them. <laughs> so 
I don't know. Do you put them in a fireplace? Do you put them in a, a Campbell's soup can? <laughs> Blowtorch? I don't know. But I remember when I was first uh, LDS years and years ago um, that I, I, believe, I believe that. That's the way uh, LDS people are taught. You're not taught by the bishop and the stake president. You're taught the underground Mormon church. So anytime <laughs> you see, it, it's kind of like the Pope. They've chosen a new Pope when you see the smoke <laughs> coming out of the Vatican there. Well, and, and the Mormon church, if you see smoke coming <laughs> at the top of a, a Mormon's house, they're probably burning uh, the markings on their garments so that the secret... <laughs> The secret will never get out that they have certain markings on them. Uh, they believe that the internet doesn't exist. That you can see garment markings anytime, any place by just going onto the internet. But again, these are the subtle, the subtle and uh, sometimes overt uh, cult tactics of the Mormon Church. That um, it is so sacred that you must burn them. Uh, and of course fire and, and brimstone and, and uh, those kinds of things. Uh, most religions uh, are, are uh, strengthened by and they have something to do with the religion. But there you go. If, if you um, uh, buy any uh, Mormon garments <laughs> or you get any from a Mormon friend, uh, they have to have the markings cut out of them before uh, they can be used for rags. So there it is. If uh, you're used to burning your underwear, <laughs> you need to watch your hygiene a little bit better. <laughs> Unless you're a Mormon, then you burn it because Jesus came down and said, uh, burn your underwear. Thanks.